it's Miss Amy and I have a little book here about having courage and what it means to have courage is to be brave in situations that might be a little bit hard for us so it's easy to be brave when everything's going our way and there's no issue no bumps in the road and no obstacles but when you have courage and you're brave about things that are a little more difficult that's really when it's kind of tested and you see that oh i do have this within me and i can do this this is have courage a book about being brave and that means something different to everyone too everyone's brave in their own way even though i'm small i can stand tall and feel good about myself so if someone ever teases you about being too little or being too tall it doesn't matter. It's the way that you were made and you're wonderfully made. So you don't have to be like everybody else and look like everyone else. I show courage when I do what I think is right, even when it's hard or I feel afraid. So here, this little girl didn't really have anywhere to sit in circle time and she was a little bit nervous. And this little boy spoke up and said, you can sit here. So he was going out of his comfort zone and being kind when no one else was offering her a seat. It takes courage to say yes to some things. So the doctor's about to give him a shot and she says, are you ready? And he says, yes, even though he's nervous and scared. He just knows that it's something he needs to do. I try to listen to people that I trust. So I'm sure his mom and the doctor said, this will just be really quick and we're gonna get it done. And it was really quick and then it was over with. If a person dares me to do something that could hurt someone, it may take courage not to do it. I can dare to say no. So when someone says, try that, if you're not comfortable doing it, it's okay to say no way. Don't feel pressure to do something that you're just not comfortable doing. I can dare to think for myself and do what I think is best. I feel brave when I speak up for myself and say what I want. So he was showing the barber how he wanted his hair cut and he said like this. So he was explaining, as long as you're polite and you use polite words, it's fine to say what you want or what you need. I don't mind if I stand out. I can dare to just be myself. So we don't have to dress like everyone else. We don't have to look like everyone else. We just have to look like we want to look and what's comfortable for us. And that's different for every person. I can be brave and choose to do something hard because I believe it will be worth it. So he stood up in front of the whole class. Maybe he volunteered to go first when no one else wanted to go and talk about his picture and explain. And that does make you feel really good every time you do it. You think, wow, I just did that. I can do it. When I take a risk and talk to a child I don't know, I might make a friend. So this little boy, again, was sitting by himself while everyone else was playing. And this little guy said, do you want to play? So that's kind too, stepping out of your comfort zone to ask a new kid at the park to play. I might even help someone else feel brave too. So this little boy then went across the monkey bars, maybe because this little guy included him. Otherwise, maybe he wouldn't have had the courage to do it that day. So we give other people courage too by the things that we do and empower them to try things as well. When I believe in myself, I think more about what I want to do than what I am afraid of. And that's so true too. When we keep a positive mind and we're brave about things, our, our mind doesn't go to a negative place. We think about, well, what can be done instead of, well, I could never do that. We think about, I can do that. If I have the courage to try something new, I may start a fun adventure. I'm glad to know people who can help me. So you know that your teachers, your parents, Older brothers and sisters are there to help you and can help you if you're having some difficulty or if you need to figure out how to do something, just ask. Because when we ask questions, we learn. 
If something seems safe, I can be brave and just do it. So here they are, they're camping and they're walking around with a little flashlight to kind of see things in the dark. To me, courage is about doing important things that I didn't know I could do. And that's the truth too. We really don't ever know what we can do until we try. And if we try something and it doesn't work out, that's okay too. That's a sign of courage as well. If we realize, well, okay, that didn't work. I need to reset and try it another way. We would never have known that if we wouldn't have had the courage to try it. Being brave can help me in everything. It pushes me to make good things happen and to be my best. When I have the courage to do what I believe in, I can make a difference and I can feel the difference in me. So what they're doing is they were collecting food for a food drive and then they were handing food out to people that maybe can't get to the grocery store or can't buy food for themselves. And it makes us feel really good to do those things for other people. So this is Have Courage, a book about being brave. And Ms. Amy wants you to remember that being brave looks different for all people and we can be brave in big and small ways. They all make a difference. But when we're brave, when we step out of our comfort zone to defend someone, to do something kind for somebody, to maybe go up to somebody, a child that we don't know, and then all of a sudden we're friends with them, we feel that. And we feel that because it's the right thing to do. So it makes us feel good. And when we feel good about the things that we do, we spread that around the world. So in small and in big ways, that always matters. So I hope you enjoyed that book. I certainly did. And I'm so proud of you for all the brave things that you all are trying to do every day. And Miss Amy, as always, wishes you well.